me a little bit about what we're doing here in the district in terms of just trying to keep the buildings clean so that they're safe um, for our students teachers to be here all right um, a lot of the buildings are different as far as our, our cleaning goes as far as the aspects that they are taken but in the same regards it's the same concept as far as time wise that they have for it so example with like some buildings like for example elc what we're doing is wiping everything down whenever kids do leave the room as far as spraying down or wiping down we have backpack sprayers that electrostatify for lack of a better word electrocute the chemical that goes down to the desktops and then it you know i guess electrocutes the germs and cures all that and that is usually like a dry time between three to five minutes so like kids leave classroom they go to eat lunch the other janitor goes in there and sprays that down and there's plenty of time for that to dry and be effective because when they get done with lunch they actually go out to recess or have their recess time so by the time they come back in that room is clean again and once they are up from their lunch table those same tables are wiped down every time in between another section of kids coming in to eat so still keeping the the germ population down on that um, other buildings such as the high school and junior high we're having janitors go around with disinfectant wipes as far as the water fountains and doorknobs and door handles and all that every hour in between class as far as what kids might touch what kids might not touch um, I believe a lot of you parents that might be watching this know that you know we're avoiding the use of lockers and all that because that brings the kids together being right next to one another with the lockers um, some other things that we're doing is is same thing as far as social distancing with lunchrooms we have uh, utilized gym space um, and some other big areas and, and for instance like the junior high we put a retaining wall in between the two lunch areas and then still separating the kids six feet apart as far as keeping them on that playground areas what we've done with that is we have sectioned them off as far as sixth grade seventh grade eighth grade and we try to do our best of the ability to keep those kids within their confined area <clears throat> that way if there is an outbreak with like a couple sixth graders that hang out they're not over with the seventh graders and making it more as far as the kids that will be quarantined i guess per se um, every school is outfitted with backpack sprayers that they're spraying down they all get sprayed at the end of the day to the classrooms and then that way it's setting overnight and those are not to be disturbed until the next morning um, our bigger buildings such as where I'm at currently here at EHS with a lot of the bathrooms they are cleaning those on a regular basis and then at the end of the night they are doing an even deeper cleaning or the end of the day I guess I should say because we get out fairly early here now with the reduced scheduling and what they do is after they clean those bathrooms very good they block those off so those are not to be used if there's someone in here lifting weights or doing a workout in the gym or something like that and those are not to be used until the next day and we know we're good to go when the next day starts so this is really had this is all additional to janitorial custodio, custodial yes. duties you did in the past so how are you guys managing all that heavy workflow of all the other stuff you got to do it, it it is a lot more than what we have done so we have had to finagle our scheduling and move some people around from our our second shifts to our first shifts and even had to put some new people in some swing shift positions you know like a like a 10 to 6 or we even have some positions right now that are 1 to 9 30 where you know when they can come in and help they can come in and help as far as uh, a lot of our daytime guys are pretty busy and, and they're getting it done 